Hey everyone, Matt Piper with another video and welcome to another unboxing and reviewing of a character. Now today we are going to be unboxing and taking a look at Dewey Conrod, one of the legends, the Rebel Gens, who came out of Singles Case Key. I have already like I already viewed my highlights and my personal favourites from Case Key, which included Racing Red Cruise, Rich Hurry. And Sterling, so I'll link that video in the description down below. I originally passed on Dewey, I don't really know why. I think it's because like two reasons I couldn't find him in the case for a start when I got the case down. I just I don't know. I wasn't really too fussed until I saw Disney Docker's review on this. Again, I'll link that guy in the description down below. Amazing YouTuber, one of the ones that got me into this. Make sure to go check him out. And here we view this guy, I saw the car, I was like, I need this in my collection. So here we are, we got him. We got him out of Smith's Kane Singles Case K ones again. So let's get into it. This is trying to make something Lego. So there he is on the, um, the stock image. And he doesn't actually look metallic on the stock image. But in the car he does, beautiful. Looks a really nice stock image, really clean, really good design of Pixar there. He is new for 2021, the Metal Desert Horizon series. And there he is, looks pretty nice. Pretty nice. Awesome. Look on the back there, there's a little stock image there, a seed in Cars 3. Cool. There's a new Mattel next gen thing, which I feel offensive because I am a stock car and not a next gen. Like, I I I was four fifteen years ago, guys. <laughs> Sixteen years ago. Fifteen years ago. Fifteen years ago. Fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen years ago. There we go. Anyway, let's bust this guy open before I try to do any more maths. This is ironic when I was actually amazing at maths in school. I was. No. Yeah. Fifteen years ago. Yeah. Of course, when cars came out, idiot. <laughs> let's get him out of the packet. Pop the packet in the bin. And let's have a look at him. Awesome. So I believe this is the seventh and last in retro gen that Mattel are bringing out this year. I have picked up five of them this year. No. Yeah, the new next gen. It's kind of new. I'll explain this in a bit, guys. We do have the... Um, the hot rod cars, but I'm not really casting them as the, the quote unquote new stuff. Anyway, here he is. First and first, his colour is absolutely gorgeous. Got a nice happy little expression there. Got crosses on the headlights. Little nice little grill there. Now look on the bumper, we have got 350 mile an hour, which I'm assuming is like his top speed or something. Really clean. Honestly, the decals on this guy, from, from being from Thailand, are really really clean. It says there, Bricky's driving, which is one of his sponsors. You got the old revolting logo there. Motor oil. Got nice white rims. He was number sixty four. Honestly, like the the red, the white, and the kind of like bluey color, incredible. His other sponsors include. Deals Tire and Automotive and Cornbud Auto and Cars Club of Clinton, Missouri, I believe that is. So basically like his family business, I'm guessing, since he is Dewey Cornrod. And there's a signature up top, looks really clean, really nice. 64. Now going on to the back, it's probably one of my favourite parts apart from the colour of this guy. First of all, you have his licence plate, which is J12. 21k it's slightly like crooked slanted i don't know if it's supposed to be for 350 mile an hour then revolting and the motor wire looks pretty blurry ricky's driving deals tire automotive then this is this is incredible this was kind of got this like coat of arms safety cone rod auto and car club it's like a bald eagle and like a kind of um flag with safety on it Looks really nice. That's a really nice detail, that. Very, very crisp and clean as well. And the other side is pretty much the same. 
He was made in Thailand and he was made in the 24th week of 2021 at the A Factory. So overall thoughts and feelings of this guy, personally, huge, huge fan. Love the colour, love the metallic kind of look of him. Love the clear decals, the sponsors, this little bit on the back is incredible. Now unfortunately I don't have anything like near enough to compare this guy to in terms of the next gens. So I just thought, why not just bring out all the next gens that I've got and we'll have a little look at them next to each other. Starting off with, we'll start with the more recognisable ones first. We have got a normal Junior Moon, I do have a Hot Rod version but I bought the normal version out as well. Interesting how Junior doesn't actually have any contingency sponsors on him, or the sponsors in general. So of course here is number 11, which is also my lucky number. Next up I've got Hot Rod River Scott. I don't have a normal version of River Scott, so this will just have to do. So for that I am hoping again, I'm hoping that they'll be releasing my son products like a normal version of him. Him and Louise Nash, I need like normal versions of, like non-Hot Rods. Popping off to the side there. And then next up in this final kind of recognisable legends is Hot Rod Louise Nash. Again, unfortunately, don't have a like heyday version of her. And again, I am sorry that I don't have anybody to compare um this guy to. So I just thought I've got like a slightly smaller collection of the Red Bull gens. So I'll just bring them all out and just have a little look at them. Same with like the different models and makes and cars were like back in the 50s. Next we'll go with Eli. Who I got in a two pack when I first got that version of Junior Moon. Now he's got some sponsors on him which is nice to see. I actually don't know why I like the original. Like these three don't. I mean the hot rods you can understand. I don't believe that they have any sponsors of them in this film either. Which is interesting. It's got the old Dynaco logo on there. Nice little touch. Right, let's up, we'll go over to Caleb Worley. He got released this year. He was in 2021 Singles Case C this year. Got him from Morrison's. Quite a little random find one day when I went to go get a drink, I believe. Was it getting a drink then? I probably was. Morrison's have some nice drinks. I have cans of water. I don't know why I probably need to tell you guys that Morrison's sell cans of water. But they do. Next up we will go with Ducky Fauntleroy. He was in 2021 Singles Case D. Now here's one of the closest that we are going to get um, to Dewey in my collection. Honestly, Ducky is probably one of my second favourite legends apart from the original four. Got a lot of sponsors, kind of like Dewey, which I'm a huge fan of. And then last but not least, we have got Jordan Jackson. He came out of 2021 Singles Case F. Cool, and there we go. There's the end of this little video. So thanks so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let us know in the comments down below if this hurt on because you know YouTube's been a little bit annoying and turning my comments off recently. What do you think of Dewey? Are you gonna get him? Um thoughts and feelings there down in the comments down below. And um I do try and interact with as many people as I can in the comments. So if you want to say hi, feel free to say hi and may say hi back to you. And also, if you're not already checking it out, my Instagram is in the description down below. Check that out if you're a Cars fan. 
pretty good content on there behind the scenes there's a little bit more marvel content over there too thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one see you then bye